I'm saying. What's up, divas and divos? So your girl is back and I decided to do a different video today because I was asked in the comments to show how I put on some press on nails. I would think it's really easy to put on press on nails. You just put a little glue on and you find a nail size and you just slap that bad boy on and girl, you looking real fancy and cute for just very minimum, okay? You guys know I not really like the hugest fan of nails. I haven't went to the nail salon in like probably like a couple of years. Being that I don't wear nails every day, when I do put them on, it kind of restricts me from doing certain things. I'd rather just go to the drugstore or wherever and get some really nice press on nails. Try like several different pairs. Figured I'd try something out even fancier. We'll be sharing that with you guys where you can get these really, really high end expensive press on nails. Girl, you gonna look like you are just like a million bucks, girl. So before I even get into the nails, I want to say this. I'm really happy about my makeup today. I did do it on camera. It was just basically like a get ready with me chit chat, you know, talk about topics in the world. The hair that I'm actually rocking is a ponytail by Sensational. This is their wraparound ponytail. It's 24 inches. It is synthetic. It's the straight version. It's a really nice sturdy ponytail. I like the way that they created this. The color that I have is a color number 227. And so far she's really cute. I like her. She looks very natural. Um, Well not very natural but she doesn't look like the drawstring ponytails. Okay. As I was saying um, I was asked to showcase or do a video of me putting on some press on nails. Girl, press on nails is really simple. Trying out the most expensive pair of press on nails at the 99 cents only store, okay? These were only $1.99 and I thought they were really cute. I was undecided if I should try these out for you guys or these by Kiss. But these are a little bit longer and I do like these. I really want to try these out, but I figure I would do them another time. But these here are a little bit shorter. They're shaped a little bit different. So I'm thinking that these might be a little better for me. They almost seem like the length of the French manicure ones that I took off uh, a couple days ago that were by the Kiss brand too. Now those I really did like. I wore them for probably like a week, like a week and a half, and they lasted good. I liked them. They were comfortable. I was able to get my work done, and, you know, I really did like those. So I figured I would go back to that length, and I'm thinking that these are the same length. And what I used to put on my... Press on nails is crazy glue, okay? People might not like to use the crazy glue. You might want to use the nail glue that it comes with. But for me, I don't think like this stuff really stays on that well. So I like crazy glue. So if you don't like crazy glue, then you can use what you want. But we're going to use crazy glue for this video. So the nails were $1.99 and I thought they were cute. This was the only color they had. They're by a brand called Elite Pro Beauty. And it's just like an ombre type of nail. It comes with an emery board and it also comes with some of the nail glue. This is the Princess Nails Darkness and Reds. That's what it looks like. And they were $1.99. I said, well, you can't go wrong for $1.99, okay, for some nails. All right, guys. So this is just going to be for fun. I thought I would get these, try them out. They were only $1.99 at the 99 cents only store. So, you know. I figured, hey, let's give it a try. So the first things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, buff down my own natural nail beds with this emery board. So I'm emery boarding them down. You know I'm gonna speed the video up because I don't wanna be here all day and I'm pretty sure you guys don't either. Now listen, let me tell y'all one thing, okay? I am not a nail technician. I am not no beauty guru okay let's take the word guru off the end i'm just your average joe or jane just applying nails along with my makeup and hair not a professional this is all for fun so have fun with me okay and so as i am reborn down my natural nail bed you know you guys can get yourself a sip of wine a sip of soda some water whatever kind of snacks you got in the house don't go outside. Now I'm going to use this vitamin E beauty oil. This stuff is really good. I got this from the Dollar Tree like some time ago, but they still sell it. 
And because my hands are so dry, okay? And that was because, you know, I do a lot of wigs, so I'm bleaching the hair and it dries my hands out. So I gotta kinda like oil them down, you know? I don't need none of y'all talking about how dry and ashy looking my hands are. So we just gonna take care of that right now, okay? And we're gonna set out these little cheap nails. Now let me tell y'all something, okay? Now I really did think these was gonna hold up for like at least a few days. Girl, let me tell y'all. So later on after I did this video, I mean later on, not the next day, the same evening, I went to take a shower, you know, wash my ass. And um, one of the nails peeled off in the shower. When I say peeled off, peeled off. So when it peeled off, there was the silver backing that was still attached to my own natural nail. So you like, you see like the inside of the nail where I'm putting that, well once it peels off, it's like a silver color. I can't really explain it, but it looked like I had tin foil all over my nails. So then the next one did that in the shower. So a girl just was like, you know what, let me just see something. So they like peeled right off like the natural nail peeled off of like the coating inside of it. But hey, they were only $1.99, so I mean I didn't really lose out on nothing but $2. Though I could have used that $2 for some glue. So anyway, we're just going to go ahead and continue on. I like to use crazy glue, but I have noticed lately, because I did my nails again two days ago, like way after this video, like a week after this video, I used the actual nail glue that came with the kits for Kiss, and it actually does work. These little nails are staying on like nobody's business. But anyway, you know, I hope you guys are okay out there. I don't really need to tell you too much about this tutorial because it's just really self-explanatory. You know, 10 fingers, and that's about it. You know, you just put on some glue. But like I was saying, I hope you guys are doing good out there. You know, I know some people are tired of being in the house. For me, this is every day. I don't really go too many places unless I gotta bring the kids to school. And then I'll just run a couple errands like the grocery store and the Dollar Tree and Dunkin' Donuts. Those are the things that I do early in the morning and then I'm in. So I don't really go anywhere. And I don't go to the Dollar Tree and the grocery store every day. So, yeah, I don't really go outside too much. So this is really an everyday thing for me. Social distancing? Well, shit, I've been social distancing all my damn life. So, you know, what can I say? This is really not nothing new for me either because I don't really have too many friends. You know, it's not that I don't have time for friends. It's just I just be so busy with my family and my life that I guess social distancing is really not a big issue for me either. I guess that's why I like to be on YouTube because I get to socialize with you guys from there. And that makes my life fulfilling. And I don't mean that as in a sarcasm or sarcastic way. I mean, it actually does. I get to talk with you guys and I get to voice my damn opinions and, you know, have fun with it. And that's what I hope you guys are doing, like keeping yourselves, you know, occupied. I say this all the time, take up a new hobby. Shoot, if it ain't even a new hobby, and you you know, you ain't that great doing makeup like myself, that's when you try out new looks. Don't try so hard to where your eyes start hurting like your girl tried the other day when I was practicing my makeup. Yeah, when you feel like your eye is irritating, I think it's time to step away. But, you know, I have been trying my makeup out, trying out different nail looks and stuff trying to keep myself busy but you know i'm busy every day so this is like i said nothing new for me but i hope that you guys are you know staying healthy and occupying yourself and not allowing this lockdown to get to you don't let it get to you take it as a time for self-evaluation you know and getting to know those that are in your home not getting to know people that live next door because you know they cool and all about you know, the social distancing. Like I say, you could do 12 feet. That makes me a lot happier. I tell this lady that the other day in the grocery store. Honey, you're a little bit too close. It's six feet, but you could you could go back 12 because I don't really need you too close to me. And you ain't even got no mask on or nothing. Girl, bye. But yeah, get to know your family members that are in the house. And reach out to those who are not in the house, you know. Check on them, FaceTime them, do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So now you guys see I have already finished doing the glue part. And these edges were a little bit jagged on the nails. So I decided to buff them down a little bit. You gotta be real careful with these because I've noticed that these are not the average kind of material that I've noticed with other press-on nails. 
And you know, so you gotta be careful with this. And because um, I noticed that they get a little bit a little rough at the bottom and they're easily to be scratched, the metallic on them, this ain't even real nail polish on the, the freaking nails. It's some type of coating. Anyway, you know, it's just something fun to do. I decided I'm going to use some of this clear nail polish to spruce them up a bit. But girl, when I did that, it started giving the nail an ombre effect. Do you see the nail polish brush? It is now turning red and black. So it gave it like an ombre effect. It was all right for the moment until I realized this is not really good. This is going to ruin my whole bottle of clear nail polish. But I'm going to just still keep going because, I mean, the, the clear nail polish was only a dollar. And I've got plenty of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue. But I also noticed you cannot put too much. Either way, they're only $1.99. You know, if you want to look cute for a minute, then hey. If you want some content to put on a video for your videos, then hey. And just be able to chit chat with everybody, then that's cool too. So this is what they ended up looking like. You know, hey, it's decent, especially if you're not like a pro at it. They're pretty decent. I mean, I do prefer the Kiss brand. The Kiss brand is a lot better and they have so many different styles. Check Amazon. They have a lot of nails and you won't have to leave the house. So if you want to do your nails, check Amazon and they do deliver. It may take a minute, but it's worth the wait. You know, social distance, stay indoors because we can get we can all do this together and we can all help out together in this epidemic that's going down. So everyone stay indoors and you know do your shopping online and make sure that you take cautious a caution when opening you know your packages those are my hands they look kind of old oh my god Jeez. but they do look well moisturized i will say that okay they don't look dry as hell hope you guys enjoyed the video all right guys so i am done with these $1.99 press on nails. The first thing that I want to mention about them is I did have to put some clear nail polish on because I noticed that some of them were scratching. So when they were scratching, it was scratching off like the metallic look. So when I put the clear nail polish on, it kind of like made that metallic paint um, run a little bit. So I gave it kind of like an ombre type of wet paint looking design on like a couple of them. But, you know, they're $1.99. The quality of them is kind of cheap, all right? I would prefer them to be more like the Kiss brand. This is a lot better quality. But, I mean, if you're going to wear them for a few days, then it's not bad. If you're a beginner, then definitely it's not bad. Notice that some of them were a little bit too small in width. Like this one right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. But this one is a little bit too small on the sides. But, I mean, hey, it was fun. They'll probably last me like a couple of days. I don't think that they will last for too long for at least not even a week because the plastic of these nails, they feel kind of cheesy, you know. And I felt like if I pressed down too hard with them, they would um, crack. But we'll see. I mean, $1.99, this was the most expensive pair of press-on nails at the 99 cents only store. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You probably won't see me in these on another video because, I don't know, I really don't care for the color too much. I don't think too much. So, I love you guys. Stay Diva and Divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, and I'll see you guys in a soon-to-come video. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the rockets on them. Big mans can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.